Getting into backpacking can be an extremely expensive endeavor, and honestly, it holds a lot of people back trying to get into backpacking. It can take some disposable income. Behind me, I have a huge array of gear, and most of it I have not paid retail prices for. How can you do the same? Well, I'm about to break it down starting now. I wanna give a quick shout out to Leadlenser for helping to make this video possible. They are sponsoring this video. Leadlenser makes quality headlamps and illumination products, and they also make other stuff as well, such as uh, power banks, and just are a great company that makes quality gear. I've been using their headlamps for a long time, but I highly recommend checking out leadlenserusa.com if you are looking for a quality headlamp or a power bank or something of that nature, and without, Further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. Today on the channel, I have five ways to help you get some steep discounts on gear. Sometimes it's brand new, sometimes it's used, but this is really gonna help you get into backpacking if price is something that holds you back. So the first thing on my list for how to get great deals, this is honestly, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this one because I have used this a ton and a lot of people do not know about it. There's a website out there called GearTrade.com, and GearTrade is kind of a little industry secret. Uh, at least it was at the at the, a couple years ago, um, because what a lot of companies like REI, uh, Backcountry.com, a lot of retailers who offer nice return policies, they'll sell gear at you know regular retail prices somebody will buy it and then maybe take it out for a weekend or maybe not even take it out at all and then return it with the packaging damaged these companies cannot resell most of these products at regular retail prices again so what do they do they pop it over on gear trade and then you john q user can get access to essentially brand new gear for a huge discount now the discounts will often range anywhere from, you know, a, a nice 10% to sometimes a staggering 70 or 80%. Like honestly, sometimes the deals are pretty insane over there. I personally have used it to get some really pricey gear, uh, including one of my favorite sleeping bags of all time, a negative 20 degree sleeping bag that is great for winter gear. It was originally a $900 sleeping bag that I got for just over $200. The only thing wrong with it was that it had three dog hairs in it when I got it. So somebody had got it and uh, their dog had gotten into it and I don't know, just like slept on it or something. The, the bag was perfect, literally perfect, except for three dog hairs and I got a $700 discount because of it. So that's pretty awesome. I uh, think that you know, it's an amazing way to get gear. Also, private sellers such as you or me or anybody in your neighborhood uh, can also use Gear Trade to sell gear. So you can get it from private people and you can get it from the big guys like dotcountry.com. Uh, and you can just often just look at the user, you look who's actually selling it to know if you're getting it more from a retailer or from a private person. Anyway, check out geartrade.com and you can get some screaming deals. Okay, number two on my list is kind of a classic and a lot of people actually know about this one, but this is REI garage sales. Now garage sales happen usually about twice a year at a given REI. And this is coming again from the returns department. So REI used to have an unlimited return policy. They then changed it. I guess it was hard to make a dollar when everybody from the 1970s who bought their gear started returning their gear back in 2018 because their backpack had finally given out. But that return policy is still pretty generous. They're still doing honoring a year of returns, I believe, as long as I'm up to date on that. Which means that there is still a ton of great gear that they are accepting returns on that they can't resell as new. And then therefore at garage sales, they will hold events where they will bring everybody in uh, who's a member, an REI member, and uh, you can score amazing gear. It's kind of like uh, a Black Friday sale, so it can be intense. There's often lines out the door in order to uh, actually go in the store during the garage sale event. But I have done it a bunch of times. I've gotten great backpacks, great boots, 
sleeping bags, all sorts of gear using garage sale events at REI. And uh, they're kind of a classic beloved way to uh, get good gear. So kudos for REI for creating something fun there. And uh, yeah, that's been like a long-standing classic. So check out REI Garage Sales if you've never heard of that. Look them up. They often advertise a month or two in advance and then uh, get there early. That's important. Okay, okay, everybody, get there early. Uh, number three on my list is getting a pro deal discount. Now, a pro deal, you might be thinking about a pro deal as somebody who is, say, a mountaineering guide would get a pro deal from a company like Arcteryx or maybe Patagonia or REI or a, a particular brand, and they can get a discount of like 40, 50, or 60% off of some really expensive gear because these companies know that when a guide is wearing their gear, all of their clients are going to look at them and be like, oh, the guide was wearing this or using this piece of gear, so I'm gonna go buy the same. Also, usually guides do not necessarily make a lot of money, so they have to give discounts to those people to order in order to afford top level gear. So uh, you might be thinking, there's no way I could actually uh, qualify for a, a pro deal. However, you might be wrong because there are a lot of people that can actually apply and get uh, access to pro deal pricing. I myself used to get pro deals back when I was a wilderness guide, and that was a wilderness guide in a therapeutic setting. It was not like I didn't need to be uh, a mountaineering qualified guide. This was a type of job that was accessible for almost anybody with general outdoors skills. Uh, and you can probably find many jobs that are not actually super aggressive jobs and actually there's a whole list of them. Some of them include uh, volunteer firefighters. Some of them are uh, search and rescue volunteers. Uh, some of them are just law enforcement in general. Uh, some of them are if you just work for the Forest Service or work in some of these government agencies that deal with the Department of Interior. I got a pro deal just by being uh, basically working with youth in an outdoor program. So if you are looking to get into backpacking, Finding a job that actually can get you a one of these pro deals is actually a pretty good way to do it. And there's also a lot of jobs that aren't super hardcore that also get you those pro deal discounts. I'm gonna bring in my reference list here. So some ways to get pro deals are to be part of the US Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, Navy SEAL, Marine Corps, all of that stuff. Uh, fire and rescue professionals and volunteers, as well as law enforcement, as well as Department of Interior employees, Forest Service, uh, physical education instructors, team coaches, high school level and beyond. That's a lot of people out there. Yoga and fitness instructors. Hmm, who knew about that? Also, Knowles alumni, instructors and employees. Knowles alumni, that is also one of the main ways. If you're just looking to improve your outdoor leadership skills, uh, Knowles, that's what it is, National Outdoor Leadership Skills. So if you just wanna be somebody who is more skilled in the outdoors, signing up for one of their programs can be just a great way to spend a summer. And by doing so, you can also get pro deal discounts off of sleeping bags, tents, backpacks, all sorts of gear to get your full lineup of gear that way. Next on my list is kind of again using the secondhand market and that is Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, there is a ton of stuff. I, just right here locally for me, I live in Flagstaff, it's a pretty outdoorsy town. But if I just do a quick Facebook Marketplace search, I can see locally a ton of stuff available secondhand. Backpacks, sleeping bags, tents, boots, water bottles, all sorts of stuff. And the cool thing is, is that you don't also have to just buy local. You can like look up all sorts of stuff that's far away from you and then people can ship it to you. So using the network of people all over the US that have extra gear uh, like myself, I use some of these local services as well if I'm just trying to get rid of gear or I've got you know stuff that I haven't used in a year or two and don't think I'm likely to use it again. Certainly don't wanna throw it away. It still has a lifespan ahead of it. Uh, using some of that is a great way to uh, recycle that throughout the community. And if you yourself use that, it's a wonderful tool. Last but not least, I'm a little hesitant to include this one, but there's certainly value in it and I wanna point it out. But places like Walmart, uh, Target, 
uh, sportsman's warehouses, you know, things that are just like the general market outdoor goods, they have some real value for people. I think that there can be a stigma that you always have to get top of the line gear. You always have to go and get your Patagonia, your Arcteryx, and you have to shop at REI. And if you can't afford it there, then uh, sorry, peasant, you can't go backpacking. Uh, but actually, you know, a lot of people who are like hunters and general outdoorsmen and people like that, they've been using Walmart and your sportsman's warehouses for a long time. And it is a perfectly acceptable place to go get uh, your backpacking gear. Now, the downside is that most of the gear will not be quite as durable and will be heavier and bulkier. However, it's still good gear. It can still keep you dry in a rainstorm. It can still get you out there and experiencing the outdoors and developing your skills. And as you grow, then you can get other gear and, uh, and replace it or just get the, the higher end stuff, the ultralight stuff, the kind of the, the toys and gadgets that we all desire, but sometimes are just so stupid expensive, it's not necessarily worth it. Okay. Those are five ways to get amazing backpacking gear or four ways to get amazing backpacking gear and one way to get gear <laughs> for your backpacking trips. Okay, uh, if I've missed anything or if you have any other ideas, uh, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I think that this is a really important topic because um, backpacking can be intimidating when you just look at the price tags of everything that adds up. It can take thousands of dollars to get into backpacking and uh, that can be really prohibitive for a lot of people. And I wanna see backpacking be for everyone, not just the ultra wealthy. Okay, everybody, that's it for me. I'm Eric Hansen. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you later.